Okay, in this particular video, we'll install an Apache web server and connect it to our op agent. So in our previous chapter, we had already installed an op agent for our virtual machine. So on how you can do that, there is a link that I would send in the description below. Also, you can check out this particular URL that I will paste in the description below as well. So using this particular URL, you can create an op agent for your virtual machine. So once you've done that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to install Apache in this particular instance. So let's do that. So let's SSH into this particular machine. And let's clear the screen. And let's just do a sudo apt install Apache 2. Do a yes. Okay, so once you have Apache installed, let's try to access this using our external IP. Now, before that, we also need to enable the HTTP port. So let's click on edit here. And let's allow HTTP traffic. Let's click on this and let's save this. Now let's go back to our instance again. And let's use this particular external IP. Let's copy this and let's paste it here. And you can see that our Apache web server is installed. Okay, so the next thing that we'll do is we need to install the op agent for this particular apache web server now to do that you can go to the same page again and underneath monitoring third party application you can click on overview here and you can see that you can configure the op agent to collect logs and matrix for these third party applications so currently it includes apache cassandra iia nginx and redis so what we need to do is let's configure this for apache so let's click on this And let's look at the requirements. So the first requirement is that there should be a mod status plugin installed. Now this comes already pre-installed. So just to check whether it comes pre-installed, all that you need to do is you just need to run this particular command in the shell. So let's copy this and let's paste it here. And you can see that it works. So this is fine. So you don't need to do anything here. And the next thing that you need to do is you need to create a configuration file under this particular path. And this particular configuration file will help you in collecting all the logs from your Apache web server and sending it to your GCP console. And similarly, it will do the same for your matrix as well. So this particular configuration works both for your logging as well as your for matrix. So for your logging, there are two important aspects that you need to remember. One is the receiver and the other is the service. The receiver collects files from these following parts. So this is already defaulted. So if you have your Apache logs in any other path, then you would need to change the configuration here as well. So underneath type, you would need to add your include paths to specify which particular path contains your logs. So currently it's defaulted to these paths. So let's copy this path and let's see whether the access log is present within this path. So let's copy this and let's go back to our instance once. And you can see that it contains both the access as well as the error log. So you do not need to change anything in this particular file because similarly for your error file as well, it will pick it up from this particular path. And this particular path has the error.log as seen here. So you do not need to change anything here. Now, after it has done that, it uses this particular receiver and sends, it creates the service to send it to your GCP console. So similarly for matrix as well, and here for matrix, what it does is it uses this particular URL to collect the matrix. And here the only error is that this particular port should not be 8080, it should be port 80. So that's one change we'll make while creating this particular file. And the same logic is applied again. So there's a service created and this service will send all the files or all the matrix to your GCP console. So let's copy this particular code snippet and once you've created this particular file. All that you need to do is you need to rest restart your Google Cloud Op Agent. So let's copy this and let's go to our instance and let's clear the screen and let's run this particular and let's run this again. Okay, so again, like I said previously that this has to be changed from 8080 to 80. So let's do a VI. 
Okay, so now that we've done that, the only thing left for us to do is we need to go back to our console and let's go to our navigation bar. The first thing that we'll check is the log. So let's go down. So let's click on logging. Let's click on our logs explorer. So here, let's click on our resource. So the resource is basically all the VM instance. So all resource type, you can also go and have it for an individual VM instance as well. So let's click, click on all the instances and let's click on add. And here we need to mention the log name. So you click on the log name here. And here you can see that there is an already an up, Apache access and an Apache error that appears. So let's just click on Apache access and let's click on add here. And let's run this particular query. And what we'll do is we'll try to log in or we'll try to hit this particular URL once. And you can see that these particular logs start appearing. So this is one of the logs that you can see. So again, it's an HTTP request that was sent using this particular re uh, remote IP address. So you get all the information about your Apache access. And this was an HTTP and you can get also the payload, the resource, etc. And similarly, you can also get the same information about your Apache error as well. So let's copy this and let's add this and let's remove this particular log and let's run this particular query. And you can see that you get this particular information. So that is how you can use your op agent to create a logging system for your Apache web. And similarly to and similarly to get your matrix, you need to open the monitoring again. So in your operations, click on your monitoring and open this. And here, what you need to open is the matrix explorer. So let's open a matrix explorer. And here again, the resource type would be a virtual machine instance. And within this virtual machine instance, let's open all the matrix that are currently available. So what you, what you can do here is you can actually uh, search for Apache. And here you can get all the metrics that is related to Apache. So for example, the traffic, if you need to get, so you just open this traffic. And here you can see all the information. So this was for a previously configured instance, and this is for the currently configured instance. So you can see the uh, all the related information here, all the traffic related information here. And you can also watch other metrics like, so let's again search for Apache. And you can also get information regarding the concurrent connection, the number of requests. So let's click on the number of requests. And you can see that you get all relevant information here as well. So this is how you can get your matrix for your Apache web server in your GCP console. So I hope this was a useful lecture. If any doubts about this, please get in touch with me. So that's it for this lecture. I will see you in the next.